This video will show how to use the Control M Application Integrator Job Properties Dependencies view to limit when certain job properties are displayed. This is useful when you want to provide two different options to enter certain job properties, such as a text box for each parameter or a text area for more advanced users. In my Control M Application Integrator Designer, I have an example job type already configured to display these concepts. I have added all of the job properties as I normally would but set the default visibility to hidden, except for in my case the gen key parameter that determines if the parameters related to the first execution steps are displayed. To configure the related parameters to be displayed when this option is checked, we go to the job properties dependencies view section at the bottom right. To add a new dependency, you would click the plus icon. To view the existing configuration in this job, we can click the pencil icon. As shown here, we choose the controlling parameter, gen key in our case, and the value that will cause the visibility of other fields to change. We can then click the plus icon to add all the required dependent parameters, and set the correct visibility state when the above expression is matched. We have done something very similar in the next execution step, based on the checkbox parameter rec. However, you'll notice the last six parameters in the list aren't made visible by this. Instead, the drop-down parameter mode controls which of these parameters are shown. If we open the, the job properties dependencies view when parameter mode equals simple, we see that it sets the parameters CN, O, L, S, and C to visible and sets subject to hidden. To see what happens if mode is set to advanced, we'll open the dependencies view when parameter mode equals advanced and we can see that the opposite visibility settings are defined. This allows you to have a simple interface to input basic parameters individually into their own fields, or to allow advanced users more flexibility with open text input. We can see and verify the effect of the job properties dependencies view settings by using the test functionality. As desired, the only job property shown by default is the gen key checkbox. Once we check the gen key options, the related parameters are shown, as well as the rec checkbox. After checking the rec checkbox, we see the CSR name parameter, subject label, and mode dropdown. Because the mode dropdown defaults to simple, we see the individual parameters. Switching this to advanced, we see the single subject text box parameter as expected. That concludes this Control M Solutions video. Please see our YouTube channel for more videos like this.